What up guys, this is Exit Setting and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a interface orb in Cinema 4D, kinda of like the TGN logo or like my logo right here. This one was actually made in Photoshop along with the TGN logos. But I'm gonna be showing you how to make one in Cinema 4D. And actually I think the ones TGN's um logos are um from Cinema 4D too. So uh and another thing I want to talk about is I'm going to be, um, I was thinking about uploading a tutorial on my YouTube background, how to make a background like mine. Um, so comment on this video or like it if you want me to make a um, tutorial on how to make the YouTube background that I have right now. As you can see, um, when you go to my channel, it says Photoshop Tutorial Episode 4 professional YouTube background this video has been removed by the user um, I removed that because there was a problem with my other mic when I recorded that tutorial so um, so now I'm using a different mic different headset so hoping this one will work a little bit better so again if you want me to make a tutorial on how to make this YouTube background put it in the comments and I will definitely do that so let's get started. So you're gonna go to Cinema 4D and you're gonna create a new page. You're gonna put a sphere in here and you're gonna make the radius 50 and segments 100. Alright, I can zoom in on this. Now you're going to get a tube, so you're gonna click and hold on this cube going on the tube and you're going to make the outer or the inner radius 52 and the outer radius 57 and you're going to click on cord and make the p axis 90 just like that and bring this for some reason my arrow is not working if you have any help for me on this, um, please, please, please help me out because something's wrong with my selection tool where I can't click and hold on any of these blue, red, or green arrows to make it go back, side to side, or up and down because if I do that, it just moves the whole thing around and I don't know what it's doing, so please help me on that. Um, so I'm just going to do the arrow back. So you want to get that to where it looks pretty good. Try to center this sphere a little bit. All right, like that. All right, just like that. Now I'm going to add a glossy blue to this sphere right here. So I'm going to do that by going to load material preset, broadcast edition, resources, materials, glossy, and then go to blue. And now I'm going to make this outside part right here. You're going to make the tube have a cap in it. So, or fill it, fill it cap. So you're going to click on object and then make sure fill it is checked. That'll make it look three dimensional. And I'm going to give this a lead effect. I'm going to go to Engineering Edition, Materials, Metal, and Lead. Drag that up there. And then if you want, you can change the outer radius to this. Outer radius on this to about 65. Yeah, about like that. Now when you render this out, we zoom in a little bit. Too much. Like that. You can see you got a pretty cool looking interface orb and you can make a logo with this. You can do basically whatever you want with this. If you want, you can add another tube around the outside of this. And so I'm going to make this 60 since I'm going to be adding another tube around the outside. Yeah, 60 seems pretty good. You're going to do the same thing with the tube. You're going to make the P axis 90. And outer radius is going to be 65. 
inner radius is going to be 55, I think. Let's see. What's the inner radius of this? You want to make the inner radius of the um, second tube one more than the inner radius on the first tube. So the inner radius on the first tube was 52. So I'm going to make this inner radius 53. All right. And now I got to bring that backwards. I like that. And I'm going to change this outer radius to about 62. Seems about right. Inner radius. I'm gonna make this inner radius actually about 55. Actually, I was wrong on what I said. You want to make the inner radius of the second tube the same, one more than the outer radius on the first tube. So the outer radius on the first tube is 60. So the inner radius on the second tube needs to be 61 just like that and then the outer radius will be 65 just like that and now I'm going to bring this back to about, uh, yeah let's just say about right there and I'm going to make this a glossy white or just mess around with this see what effects is um, Mossy blue, what is that? Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, you can't even see that because that's like a clear blue color. I'm just gonna do a glossy blue or plastic blue. Yeah, let's just say about like that. So, uh Oh, and if you want, you can add a cap to this. Fill a cap, you don't really need to. Again, it's just going to make it look more three dimensional. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. If you want to get that glare out of there, that, um, dot, you can just add a target light in here. And make sure the light target is in the middle. And you're going to zoom out and make this to where it's aiming at the center of the circle about like that now zoom back in and it should be gone nope might have to angle it up a little bit higher so let's see here yeah, let's see let's see what that looks like And you still got the glare there, but um, you can edit that out into Photoshop. I know you can do that, but putting the light on top of it kind of gives this ball, this sphere, a little bit more of a 3D effect. Um, so yeah, that's basically how to make a interface orb in Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching, and if you want me to make a tutorial on how to make an interface orb in Photoshop, um, I will do that too. Because um, in, in my opinion, the one in Cinema 4D looks a lot better because it's more HD, more three-dimensional. So um, drop a like for this video. And if you want me to make a tutorial on how to make a Photoshop interface orb, you can do that. And I will definitely make a Photoshop interface orb with no problem. Um, that's basically it, guys. Um, oh, and one more thing. With this background that I made, if you're wondering why it says inspired by Jake, that's because I did not mean to open this. Hang on. I accidentally clicked on this. It's going to take forever. No, exit out. All right. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, this background right here. I did not come up with this idea, this background at all. 
This is actually from um, created by Jake. This is YouTube is youtube.com slash created by Jake. So when you go to his channel, you can see that he has the same exact background that I do. Um, so don't give me any of the credit for that background. I did make that from scratch. Um, but don't give me any of the credit for coming up from that background. Um, I just went to his channel because he's an old friend of mine. He's the one that kind of got me started in GFX. Um, he made face tempers background. And, uh, so yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, again, I didn't, I did make that the background that I have right now, but Jake, this guy right here, is the guy that gave me the idea of doing it. Just kind of changed up the colors, added my own 3D Cinema 4D thing. So, uh, um, that's basically it for this. This has been Exodus Editing. And thanks for watching. Drop a like. And I'm out.